I cleaned my art studio. Look at oh that Oh my space. lord, oh gordo, I see that. Yeah, How'd yeah. you do that? Uh, I moved everything over to the corner over there. Yeah. <laughs> no more white out. Oh no, that's okay. right here. Oh. I've got the white out and I also have the um, the tape version as well. I've got it on tape and liquid format. <laughs> <laughs> we will be releasing this episode both on tape and as liquid as well. Corrective liquid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there aren't a lot of corrective liquids out there, you know. Right, 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 right. But... Hi. Hello. Paul, what's going on? I was trying to figure okay. out, I, I'm fucking being blinded by the sun right now, so I was trying to get a uh, mm. curtain up. Might curtain as well up. be blinded by the sun. But I uh, just it was too big i couldn't get it to work how big is your curtain curtain too big it's like 10 feet long i don't know what i was thinking when i bought this my man's curtain's so big um but this is like got a buckwheat and from a curtain rod excuse me that one i don't get <laughs> it doesn't make don't sense get. don't worry about it i heard buckwheat <laughs> That's what he said. Okay. All right, fair enough. You heard correct. What um, the hell? I, you know what? I might have to. I might have to uh, sign out of Zoom and sign back in real quick. Give me just a second. You can't hang the might curtain when you're. Uh... No, I'm trying to get the video to come on, but it's not right. Oh, it's like a buckwheat sort of. Scenario. It's like a, I got buckwheat on a phone. Okay. What the hell. <laughs> Oh, let's boy. let's go back to bed, y'all. Happy birthday, everyone, and welcome to the Happy Birthday Podcast with your hosts, Jackie and Dan, the number one podcast on ApplePodcast.com, dedicated to the birthdays you know and love. Without further ado, take it away, Dan. Happy birthday! We Welcome missed back. You, Paul. We Thank sh- you. We sure missed you and all Thank that. You. We missed Thank you. Did you? Yeah, Paul. Did you even? Li- did you listen to how we did without you last week? Did we hang in there? Okay. I did. I could, caught a good deal of it. Yeah. I caught a good deal of it. I don't know that I heard all of it. You missed. There was a lot of it. There was a lot of it. Good. Good. good I put good, it on good in one of my headphones while I was going to bed. Would you put so I the may other have one? Fallen asleep. I and then I bring I have my Walkman and my other one. I listen to music while I listen to podcasts. Mm-hmm. It's called uh, dopamine maxing. I learned about it from and Carlos what Mencia. What music? I'm forty pairs. years old. Great... Almost. I'm forty years. What music pairs well with the? If, 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 if a listener at home is trying to listen to a uh, 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 music while the podcast is on, uh, what sort of uh, album should what kind of records they should, should put, put put on? Kanye West. Okay. And we will be guessing which celebrities have a birthday. Real quick, we do have a message from our sponsor. Uh, penis. Menards showers you with holiday values. Save on a wide selection of shower heads from Interbath. This model features six spray selections, only eight forty-four. Handheld models are just seventeen forty-four. Decorate any room with carpeting from Philadelphia. Many styles are on sale, including Pavilion Berber in a number of colors, just five eighty-two a square yard. Find all your holiday needs Warm at Menards. Warm season greetings to you all from Menards. It's that season to- already, hey. I used to think that my dad knew the Menards guy because he knew a guy that looked like the Menards guy, and I just thought they were the same guy. But it was just Chuck Rebar? Mm Mm-hmm. Just an old white. I don't know why, but I remember when I was a very young boy getting it in my head that my dad knew Joe Walsh. He might have just told me that. I don't know. Yeah. He's like, I know that guy. So... (laughs) <laughs> we got to hit you with one more. We do have a message from our sponsors before we move forward. Do you get diarrhea too? Yes, I get diarrhea. My immediate reaction is, oh my gosh, oh, I'm in trouble. I use kale pectate because it works. Kale pectate stops my diarrhea. I rely on it. 
Thank you, Jackie. I actually do endorse that product also. I love Kaopectate. Would you would you endorse those words as well that when you feel when you feel a, an attack coming on, oh, you go, Oh my gosh. no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, Here no. we go. Yeah, that happened every to my time. walk earlier. I was walking the dog earlier today and I I felt something almost kind of poking out, but prairie dog, but it was just liquid. So I had to happened turn to around. me first thing this morning. Really? Yep. So I wonder if something's in the air. Uh Taco Bell <clears throat> for dinner. <sighs> And honestly, less belching, please. Excuse me. I need you to seriously stop doing it. I can't stop. Take it off the soundboard. That was real. Take me belching. Okay. Take me Me belching belching off the soundboard. (laughs) It makes me feel like I'm going to fucking throw up. You have to stop. (laughs) It makes me feel like I'm doing it, and it's coming out of my mouth, and where it's like, let, 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 I start <laughs> gagging. The only way I can delete like, it is if I uh, uh, play uh, it uh, so often that it works <laughs> its way out of the soundboard. Put Grape Lady on, take me off. Okay. Grape Lady is, is more can... disgusting than than the the belch. The belch, I, I think, sounds no, nice. I like, no, I like I like how the belch sounds. <laughs> Well, I've been getting a lot freak. of letters from fans about the belch, and they like it. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of letters. And what from address are we sending those letters to, Paul? Well, um, oh, I the the Happy Birthday Podcast is sponsored by the Happy Birthday Podcast, and I'm your host, co-host Dan, November tenth. I'm Jackie, October twelfth. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was it's deleted now. I am putting it as mm-hmm. delete. Please delete. <laughs> You're putting in a delete request? Yes, I'm putting in a delete request with our server people. And you are going to guess which celebrity has a birthday today. Okay. I'm just oh. saying, I mean, um, I shouldn't be nervous about saying that out loud. I'm going to say Stanley Kubrick. Now, sorry, I have this English muffin in my mouth. Hold on a second. Of course, you know what they call English, English muffins in England. Crumpets. Uh-huh. Eh. Wrong again, Jackie, and you are wrong <laughs> about Stanley Hubris, I call him, because he had a lot of hubris the way that he tortured Shelley Duval on the set of Shine On, You Crazy Diamonds. But <laughs> I do want to tell you that I wonder if it's a bit of serendipity, because I saw a, 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 a post on Twitter when I was going to the bathroom about one of his movies this morning. Was that Does that have anything to do with what you were thinking? Uh, nope. I was looking at this... Oh, Jackie is holding up a purple Stanley Cup Chappelle Roan edition with Halloween stickers emblazoned upon it. It has skulls. It has pumpkins. And she just drank out of it. And I want to know what kind of liquid is in that. Is it a corrective liquid that you're drinking? <laughs> this is water only. That's correct. This is a water only cup. This is future Oh, year. are you future in your hydration year. era? Mm-mm. No. Um, oh, okay. just, there's a little thirsty sip. Okay. Well, Careful with the handles. Um, I keep snapping the ones off the ones I have. Yeah. Well, you have like brute strength. I don't think so. It's I put sticky juice inside of them, and then they, when I go to get the lid off, they're stuck, and I use the <laughs> handle for leverage, but it just renders the. <laughs> so you physically cup broke it, and you're acting like. Because you told me this before, you're like, mine just blew up. It just busted wide open. Well, just be careful if you're, I'm just saying, if you're putting like sticky Kool Aid or like yeah. bug juice in there, be careful. They're for water. Water. They're for whatever no. you put in them. You can water. put piping hot coffee in them too. It's not Stanley Kubrick's birthday. All right. Uh, give me a clue, please. You are, we are One talking clue, about a man who works not necessarily in film, although he has been in film, but more television. And was born on this mm. day. I don't have a birth year in front of me. I'm going to say he was probably born 1950 or something like that. And TV guy. He's someone that you would know from TV all the time, but not someone that you would ever normally see maybe on the TV. Who could we be talking about, Jackie? Uh, the guy who does the voice on SNL. Close. You're close with the S part. The guy who does the voice on... Sesame Street. Closer. But think not puppets, but a different sort of fanciful creature. The guy who does the voice on Simpsons. Yep. Think about birthday serendipity as well. I see you have a Merry Christmas Menards bag behind you, by the way. 
I knew you would mention that. Well, I'm very predictable like that. <clears throat> is that why you put that ad in there? That is very That was birthday serendipity. I didn't know about your I didn't know about your bag. The guy who does Marge Simpson's voice? Close. Homer. Yes. Name of Matt Groin? No, he's not allowed to do any voices on the show. He writes every episode, but I they know. say it's too much work for him to mm. do the voices as, as well. He writes the show. I just have to be a guest because I don't know. Well, you should know. You've seen almost every episode of The Simpsons. Is is it? it? I'm sure I've seen his name a hundred thousand billion times. I think his name is first in the end credits. If that helps. Mm -mm. I'll just Mm -mm. give you a moment. Who's jingling? Oh, Lucy. Um, Jacko. How many yeah. Simpsons can you name? Marge, Lisa, uh, Grandpa, mm-hmm. Mo, yeah, Maggie, oh yeah, Homer, Bart, mm-hmm. yep, Flanders, yep. Um, who's the janitor? Yep, Flan- uh, That's what I was thinking of. Scotty, I think um, his name is. The t- the grew, teacher, grew. the teacher, the girl teacher, and the boy teacher. Yeah. The teacher's well, mom. No, she's never been on the show. Um, she's never yeah. been on the show. He's no. like afraid of his mom. That's like a plot. Oh, point. that Principal Skinner's mom, um, not, not Edna Krabappel's uh, mom. So we're looking for the voice of Homer. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And he uh, shares a there's first. There's also the Go ahead. bad guy, Mr. East. Mr. Beast, Mr. yes, Beast? and we are Mr. sponsored Beast. by Mr. Beast's Lunchly Mold Removal Service. I am Mr. Beast, <laughs> M-I-S-T-E-R-B-E-S-T. Send me your Mr. Beast Lunchlies, and I will carefully Beast. pick the mold off there. I will reseal it. I will mail it to your house, or you can pick it up at my house, 906-235-1726. Smithers? No, it's the voice of Homer Simpson. Right. He shares a first name. Mark? Listen. I'm just guessing guys' first names. Why is your internet so good? Why is mine so effed? Mine? The, the upload speed thingy said it was really bad, actually. Is it like, are you just better at using the internet than me? Because I, I I would have a hard time believing that with all due respect. <laughs> the thing is, my computer is from 13 years ago, so it might be that. Oh, it's like it's been well-seasoned? Mm-hmm. Just the, it just goes right through. What kind of like where the... On your laptop, where the 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 monitor meets the the keyboard, that kind of joint. Do you yeah. have like crumbs in there? What's going on? No, there's like a full hinge, no crumbs. Oh, because mine has like dust and like little Play-Doh bits and pretzel crumbs, and it's like I haven't yeah. used Play-Doh in over ten years. The voice of Homer Simpson Homo shares Simpson. a first name with me, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like that? Or just Dan. You can just go Dan. And his last Schneider. name, he's kind of one of your paisanos. But shout out Dan Schneider. I agree with you. Shout out Dan Schneider. Paisano. So he has an Italian sounding last name? Yep. You should know this. Listeners already know, but that's okay. Dan Marietti. Mm-hmm. Oh. Got it. <laughs> really? Hold on. Stop no. the music. Stop the music. Jackie. <clears throat> You've been to Spain, right? Have you seen that crow that speaks Spain Spanish and it goes, hola? No. Can you post that, please? Yeah. And then when you feed it something shiny, does it go, gracias? (laughs) Hola. I'll pull it up right now. Is that a real crow that can talk and says that? I don't believe Mm -hmm. that. I don't believe that. I was showing Zan last night. We were cracking up. No, don't oh, tell come me what, on. You, what you do in the privacy of your own bedroom is, is none of my affair. But what, what do You're you... are on the couch. Oh, okay. Uh, Jackie, oh. what yes. do the Spanish people click in their hands for percussion that goes like... Tick, 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 tick. What are those called? Claves. No. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> well, that was a clave, actually. The little bells? No, no, no. These are like little clapper things. They're like clams. They're like percussive clams. Oh, the clams. Oh, the little hand with the two yeah, yeah. hands called? on each side. What are those called? Listeners, comment below if you have any idea what those are called. I know what they're called, and they sound like the last name of Dan blah, 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 blah. 
Sorry, he has a five syllable things. last name, this guy. Jesus. I know. Four, well, that's your people. The cl- the clam thing is five syllables? No. That's three oh. syllables. His name is five. You're not going to get it. You're not paying attention. You don't care anymore. I am. I just don't know. I don't know these clues because I don't have the information in my head. It's not, dude, those are castanets. 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 So his name oh, sounds yeah, like that. Dan. But like a like a girly, Cast- girl it up a little bit. Dan- Cast Castan. If castanets were serving Kant, Nastanet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, you got the partial. You got the partial success music. Dadaladada. It sounds like dadaladada. Does that help? Just say it. Castanet Gucci. Uh, Cl- close again. <laughs> no, you're getting. Don't uh, drift so far from the correct answer. Try to steer into the correct one. That's Castanet a hint. Castanet chica. Da-da-da-da. Go like say it like da la da da. Say da la da da. Say that. Da da la da da. And now put castanets in there. Castanet poopy. Castanet baba. Castanet chico. No. Castanet chica. <laughs> Castanet daddy. Castanet cucho. I think you got it somewhere in there. Somewhere Happy there birthday, Dan, Dan Castellaneta. Castellaneta. It's like Italian sounding. A Jack Simpsons. And then listen to this really quick. Hold okay. On. And then hold on one second. Please don't do that. That was a bird. No, it's not. It's a guy. I can hear him. Yeah. Uh, Jackie is showing me an AI generated image of a crow that is built out of Pepsi bottles and it looks like he lives in a uh, war torn <laughs> Somalia. Jackie! Hola. Jackie! Dan Castellanico, happy freaking birthday! D- and you know what Homer. I did? Did you he hear does... me use the phrase birthday serendipity a few moments ago? Yeah. There's a reason for that. And the reason is you. Who does that song? Hoobastank. Oh. That's what I'm asking you. Hoobastank. Uh, Dan Castellaneta. Jackie. Yeah? As part of last week's episode of this program. Can I call it a program? Yeah. I can? Yeah. Okay. Oh, in an impromptu moment last week, I I raised the subject of that maybe it's time for the Simpsons voice actors to retire, right? You did say that, yeah, or get new voices. Or yeah. get, well, the same. They would re- retire, and they would get. They wouldn't just be a silent. It wouldn't be a silent show. Or uh, I thought you were saying like the actors just do new voices. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, new actor, new voice. Got it. The old actors just change the way they do the voices. Yeah, new voice. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that you and I did a bit of a dry run, no pun intended, of 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 some possible Simpsons voices, right? You 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 did we a Marge, did, I believe, which kind of sounded like yeah. uh, how did your Marge sound? Uh, but go brush the do- but you gotta go brush the dog dog before school. Yeah, I, yeah, eat my socks, ma. Yeah, you and did that was my Bart voice, uh, Harrelson. Yeah, and Jack. I had a, I was, I was thinking to myself, mm-hmm. usually around this time we would do something we do every episode. It's called the birthday bio of Dan. What's his last name? Castanucci. The voice of Homer Simpson. But I thought I did such a good Bart Simpson last week that maybe it's time to, time to see if uh, uh, the general public agrees that that's kind of a, a, a Bart Simpson sounding voice. So I thought I would do kind of an informal focus group, get some people on the phone. And uh, see what they thought about my Bart Simpson. And what do you think about that? I hate it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like when you do that. Where is, how can I help you? Hey, uh, I was just checking up on a job application I dropped off there. Um, 
The person who looked at the job applications is not in today. Oh, don't have a cow, man. I wasn't. Uh, I was just kidding around. <laughs> um, I'm Bot Simpson. Okay. I'll have them. I'll put a post-it note on it, and I'll have them look at it when they come in. Okay, Bot Simpson is today. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hate that. Not that I hey, uh, do you sell uh, skateboards? Yeah. All right, I'm looking for a new skateboard. Okay. <laughs> can I come down here and look at them? Or? You can. We're open to late. Open to late. Okay. I'll need to get my uh, my parents, Homer and Marge, to drive me down there. My name's Bart Simpson. <laughs> Not Bart Simpson. What? Eh. <laughs> That's okay. You probably thought, hey, uh, you, you probably think it's the real Bart Simpson, don't you? Scampson? No, a Simpson. From the, <sighs> from the Simpsons, the TV show. No, no, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, you know, okay. So you should have recognized <laughs> the voice, right? Well, I was referencing a fucking, what was it? Someone from Portlandia, I think it was. Oh, uh, Fred Ormerson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He, he, he's, he, 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 he's doing Bart Scampson? <laughs> yeah, in one of the skits. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I'll look that up and see if I can uh, learn some pointers on this on his voice. I'm trying to do the new voice of uh, Bart Simpson. Are they replacing that one chick? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work for a lot cheaper than she does, you know. Right on. Well, you have a good day. Yeah, all right. I'll try. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so off to kind of a slow start with my market research, right? But then I thought, what is something that that nice. little rascal Bart Simpson does in every episode of The Simpsons is he calls up Moe's Tavern and he does a bit of a, he does like a goofy name prank, right, Jackie? Do you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? He'll he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll call Moe's. Exactly. And he'll go, has anyone seen my icy wiener? Because, you know, usually you can call a bar and ask, is so-and-so there? And the bartender will see. Yeah, so you get the point. It's in every episode of The Simpsons. So let's see if that, that direction helped at all. Then again. Hi, uh, I was wondering if a friend of mine is there. His name is uh, Al. I do not know. Ah. Uh, no. Alcoholic, his name is. Haha. <laughs> funny. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, it is, should be funny. I'm Bart Simpson, after all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From the Simpsons, ma'am. Yeah. Don't you think I sound like him? <laughs> oh. I guess not. <laughs> Oops. Hi, I was she wondering, uh, I'm looking for a friend of mine. His name is Seymour. Nobody's in here right now. Oh, I guess <laughs> he's not there then. I don't know. I'm just a kid. <laughs> huh? Well, my name is Bart Simpson. <laughs> Rude. Hey there, uh, I was just wondering if a friend of mine is there. His name is Marco. No, not, not that I know of. Ma I don't think he is right now. Oh, uh, okay. Marco Boogers. He's new in town. Hmm. Not that I know of. There's only a few people in here right now, to be honest. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, uh, but, if, if, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but we are open till midnight, and the kitchen's open till 9. Oh, good to know. I, <laughs> I might swing down and uh, get a bite to eat. I am a, I'm a kid, though. Is that okay? I'm just a kid. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's can up I, to you. Can I bring my skateboard in there? <laughs> um, yeah, you probably could. Ah, cowabunga. Nobody's ever asked before. <laughs> ah, I'm happy to be the first. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. All right, my name is Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> she bought it. She thought that was Bart. Mm -hmm. Hello, my pub. 
Hi, uh, I was looking for my friend Seymour. I'm sorry, what's that? I'm wondering if my friend is down there. He, his, his name is Seymour. Um, would he be alone or? Yeah, he would be alone, yes. <laughs> um, let me take a peek around. One second. Okay. <laughs> I don't see anyone, no. You don't see anyone? Okay. Well, if you see a man, stop by his name is Seymour. Uh, tell him Bart, Bart is looking for him. Okay, I will. All right, Bart. So, so. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, I realized that usually Bart Simpson on the show The Simpsons, he calls Moe's Tavern, right? Yeah. So then I started, I, I was trying to reach out to, 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 to Moe's, I was trying to find Moe's, and I don't know what was going on with my phone book, I got a little mixed up. But let's, let's see Good afternoon, happens. Bobo Bubble Tea and Coffee. <laughs> Hello, Bobo. Hi. I was trying to reach Moe Mo. Sorry, this is Bobo. Okay, that's Bobo. Uh, are you hiring right now? No, we're not. Sorry. Ah, okay. Well, do you know when you will be? Um, probably when I have the need. I would guess this would be next spring. Oh, okay. I guess it slows down in the winter. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, my name is Bart Simpson. Lovely. Thank you, Bart. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, this is Bobo. It's lovely. <laughs> This is Momo's. Hello, Momo's. <laughs> yes. I'm looking for Bobo. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Ah, I got the wrong number. No worries. You have a good one. Thank you, you too. <laughs> That's a perfect call. Thank you for mm-hmm. calling Bose Bar and Billiards. This is Maddie. Hello, uh, Bose. I'm sorry? Bose? Yes, this is Bose Bar and Billiards. This is Maddie. <laughs> I was checking if a friend of mine was down there. His name is uh, John... John, John, I, I, John Toilet. I, I mean, there's there's no way for me to know who's in the building. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, a lot of people tell me my voice reminds them of Bart Simpson. Do you hear it at all? Um, I don't think I'm familiar enough with that show to know. Oh, it's been on television for years. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't I know. Does too. he have a phone number you can call? For John Toilet? I don't have his number. <laughs> he likes to play uh, billiards. Okay, yeah. There's no way for me to know who's in the building. Oh, okay. They must be in disguise. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you being so helpful. And uh, are you hiring by chance? Um, for what position? Uh, sweep, sweep in the floor. <laughs> um, I can give you an email to reach out to. I'm not sure um, who does that currently. Okay, I'll take an email address. Sure, give me one moment. Okay. I admit I might have lost sight of my goal with this this call. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. Bose okay. Bose Bar and Billiards at Yahoo. Okay, Bose Bar and Billiards at Yahoo. Okay. Yahoo. Oh, Yahoo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your night. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'll try. No Moses, Moses, this is Bart, uh, Bart Simpson. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. But you, <laughs> but you never thought you'd be talking to the famous Bart Simpson. Totally. Uh, 
All kidding aside, uh, do you think my voice sounds like Bart Simpson? Uh, I do not. Oh. <laughs> I thought it did. I was going to try to be his new voice on the show. I haven't watched it in a really long time, but I do not. I don't get Bart Simpson vibes. Oh, rats. <laughs> All right. Do you have any, b- before I let you go, do you have any words of advice? To ha- ha- help me out, do the voice? Um, I really don't know. Ah. You kind of sound like Brett Simpson. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Night Moves by Bob Seger playing mm-hmm. in the background. Very We're almost right. done. We're almost done. So, at the, you know, as, as time went on, I started to realize, it did, yeah, like, does this even sound like Bart? I don't know. So I was trying to learn and grow. Mojax. Uh, hello, Mojax. Mojax. I was checking to see if a friend of mine is down there. Mojax. And who would that be? Uh, his name is John Toilet. Mm, John, is there a John here? Mm, no. Okay. John. John Toilet. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Bart, Bart Simpson is the guy looking for him. Hold on, there's... John, John, John. Okay, no, he's not here. No. Oh, rats. Okay. Well, if he comes in, tell him Bart Simpson was looking for him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I think it's one more. Moe's Hideout Barn Grill. Hello, Moe's. Moe's Hideout Barn Grill. Yeah, I was wondering if my friend is there. His name is John. John Toilet. John who? Yeah. Oh, John Toilet. John, what? Toilet. Toilet. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't see him. Must have ran away. Ah, he does it all the time. My name is Bart Simpson. That's what name what? Bart Simpson. That's what your name is? Yeah. Don't you think I sound like him? No. Oh. <laughs> Can you give me any advice on how to do the voice better? No, if I can't. You've seen The Simpsons, haven't you? No, I've never seen The Simpsons. Oh. <laughs> Might want to check it out sometime. Nah, I don't have time. No. Oh. All right, well, I hope you have a good rest of your week. Hello? I think that's it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, no, wait. Moe's. Hi. I'm wondering if, if my friend is down there. His name is John Feet. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. There's so many people here. Oh, okay. Inside and out, they're just coming in and out. In and out, in and out, up and down, and all around. Yep. Okay. Well, there might be one more when I head down there. I'm Bart Simpson. Yep. Bye. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Bye. <laughs> so happy birthday, Dan Castellaneta. Happy birthday. And I'll let you know. Maybe I'll save it for the patrons, but there were a few other <laughs> conversations I had that were not n- n- not any any more fruitful, but um. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull off this Bart Simpson thing. Jackie, what do you think? Happy birthday to that man, and congrats, Moe's, on being freaking busy. People coming in and out. <laughs> all That must have been late at night, too. So No, it was uh, it was about, uh, I believe, 6 p.m. People coming <laughs> in and out. <laughs> I just ha- Listeners, you won't be able to see, but viewers will see. I just happened to find this... Homer oh my Simpson. lord! It is like a yes. You you describe it. You were starting to talk. I'll, uh, I'll stop it's talking. like a little. It's like a embroidered patch that you can iron on, and it's a naked Homer, and he's kind of going like, and his boobs are out, and then he's got a big um, ten gallon hat on his cock, barefoot. 
Get ready to paint the town blues. The Stone Ridge Wasaga Beach Blues Festival. See Tom Lavin and the legendary Powder Blues. Dan Chow, Fathead, God Boogie, Loco Zydeco, Mark Bird Stafford, Kim Pollard, and Soulsville, the music of stacks. Get a pair of VIP passes for only $50. Available at wasagabeachblues.com or pay regular admission of only $5 a day. The Stonebridge Wasaga Beach Blues Festival, September 17th and 18th. It, it can happen anywhere. That itch you can't scratch, embarrassing odor, you don't feel like yourself. Vagisil medicated wipes release itch, odor, even cleanses. Fast. Be the woman you want to be 100% of the time. Vagisil. Stamps.com is the only internet postage company that doesn't require hardware purchase or installation. All you need is a printer and an internet connection. Find all your holiday you needs at Menards. Warm season's greetings to you all from Menards. Do you get diarrhea too? Yes, I get diarrhea. My immediate reaction is, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. I use kale pectate because it works. Kale pectate stops my diarrhea. I rely on it. And we're back. See, I wrote some advertisements. Marge. Uh, yeah. Is that what Bart's? What is Bart's? Can you do a Bart? What is Bart's? He's like, Kamabunga. That's the sound we've been looking for. Hey, Matt. Matt Groin. You don't have a bunga, man. It's your cousin Marvin. You know that sound you've been looking for? Well, here it is. <laughs> and I am going to guess that it is the birthday of Hoochie Coochie Man Anthony Blinken, uh, Secretary of State uh, Anthony Blinken. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a re guess. I'm going to guess it's the birthday of. Oh, my nose. Pop songstress Sabrina the Carpenter. <coughs> You're so obsessed with her. Oh, shit. Yeah, you said don't mention Sabrina Carpenter for one week. I failed the challenge. I love that hot coffee song. Yeah. You and your twisted humor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Something going around, Paul? Did you, get your, did you get your RSV? No, we don't do vaccines. Yeah. And I'm going to say it's the birthday of Harlan Williams. Marlon? No, Harlan Williams. Harlan, Harlan, Harlan. Uh, no. You Harlan around over there or what? She Harlan on my Williams to like. I... Uh, no, it is not Harlan Williams. Do the Harlan Williams. Why is my internet. S- <laughs> Why is my internet so bad? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. Am I on an old plan? Am I on an old plan? Tell me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wrong so planet. it's not Harlan Williams. Correct. It is a man. It is a man. It is a painterly man. Well, Dan Castellaneta, although he's not an animator on the show, he kind of works in paints because Homer Simpson is a creation of ink and paint, wouldn't you say? Yeah. But it's not him. Okay. Do you love his paintings, this guy? <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Is he uh really Belgian like or Flemish or what's the Uh he would be American ah! by descent. Is he still with us or did he pa- American man. pass away like a tragic painter t- typically does? He did tragically pass away, yes. Do you think that I know who it is? I do. Okay. Do you think Paul knows who it is? I do. Do you think, what do you think Paul's going to have for dinner later today? Wings, maybe boneless wings in the air fryer. Mm. Tossed in sauce. Hmm. He's not answering. He won't. He won't let us know. No. Um. Oh my God. I made pulled chicken yesterday. I'm gonna eat that leftover. Salvador Dali's not American. Who's the guy that paints the little kids with the big old eyes? You know what I'm talking about? 
Mm, or no, not him. No. But do you know who I'm talking about? Kincaid, I believe. No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Kate? The little kids with the big, big eyes? No. I'm going to guess it is uh, Norman Rockwell. No, this man was actually a little bit uh, later in the timeline of the world than Norman Rockwell. This guy is more of a 80s, what? 90s. They were painting in the 80s and 90s, really? Think about a man that you have seen painting actively. You have watched this man paint before. How do you know that? R.A.P. Uh, Phil Lesh from The Grateful Dead also. He passed away this week. Yeah, 84. Goddamn. Yeah. yeah, he was killed. Zan was like, was he sick? And I was like, he you was... don't get sick when you're oh. 84. You just die. Bro, I got sick of playing those damn bass lines. This jolly fellow famously had a pet squirrel. Has anyone famously had a pet squirrel? Yes. Jackie, do listeners already know? They do. Fuck. They're singing the song already. Now, I'll give you the big one. He was on television. Do you think Phil Lesh, Pete Rose, Frank Fritz, and Phil Braun are jamming in heaven right now? (laughs) This guy, he painted landscapes on television. Oh, I didn't know he had a pet squirrel. (laughs) (laughs) uh, We'll clip that. That'll be a clip for the episode. I didn't know he had a pet squirrel. (laughs) So loud, I can't even hear you. Is it Bob Ross? (laughs) It's Bob Ross. Oh, my Lord. Jackie, when I was a child, I was so much small. I was... Uh-uh. Saying Jackie, mm-hmm. when I was a child, I was so much smaller than I am now, and I've grown so <laughs> large, truly. Yeah. To a large size, and when I was that little tiny <clears throat> version of myself, a little cherub, I remember seeing Sir Bob Ross on the PBS. Mm-hmm. painting his clothes with his frizzy hair and I thought that's how gentle a man can be he's not yelling like dad mm-hmm. right do you know why he was like that I I believe that he, he got he got picked on or or no wait wait, wait. it was something with a something drill sergeant something drill sergeant he was a drill yeah, sergeant is a, that right he was in the army yeah, yeah. so he was yelling and at guys said saying drop or give me 20 F slur you know and he was like, yes, I don't want to yell at yes, people yes. On, on, on. But that would have been kind of cool if he was painting it. He was, he was, he was saying that kind of stuff. But why don't I sit no, back? he didn't do that anymore. Why don't I sit back, relax, and let myself go and give in to the goodness of, of Jackie's new segment called The Birthday Bio of Dan Castellaneta. Birthday Bio of Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Robert Norman Ross. You were onto something with the Norman. Thank you. I guess earlier. But no, yes. Yeah. He was born October 29th, 1942. He died on the 4th of July, uh, wow. 1995. Oh, he, oh. Um, he was a lifelong smoker. And because of that, he died at age 52. Um, Damn. Some sort of. Yeah, I forget exactly what it was. Um, He died and then freaking his wife, he died like a couple months after his wife died. So classic. let me just get to the part in his Wikipedia that how his wife died slowly trying to. um, So he had lymphoma and she. Oh, and he kept it a secret. He didn't tell anyone. So, but you knew. His second wife was partners with him in his company that he built. He had like his TV show where he it was called The Joy of Painting. Uh, and he would paint, he would say, um, we're going to paint some happy little trees today. And then you could yeah. get your canvas out and paint along with him, which I did. And you guys have seen those paintings and you were like, yours is not very good. Your husband's was better. Uh, um, but uh, anyway... So after he died, his wife died, which meant that his 
um, all of his like legal stuff, the Bob Ross company, it was left to his partner, his partners, the Kowalskis. And the Kowalskis were like, we are going to use his likeliness all over the place. And his family was like, please don't do this. His son was like, I am Bob Ross's son. I don't want socks with my dad's little hair on them. You know what I'm saying? And so they yes, took it to court. Thank you. And court was like, Kowalski's win. Kowalski's get everything. And so all of the stock that um, Bob Ross and his wife owned in the company was given to the Kowalski's and they had complete creative control over the Bob Ross empire. And because of this, his legacy is now um, just the commercial silhouette of his infamous uh, round, poofy hair. Yeah. The Kowalskis have created um, many, 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 many companies with the Bob Ross names, uh, Bob Ross name and likeness. And I would like to share with you a few of them. Are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Sure. The Kowalskis created the Bob Ross Happy Little Cheese Company. This is a, you guessed it, packaged uh, dairy cheese. And then there's also the uh, sister company Happy Little Brie, which is, um, as you know, a type of cheese. The Kowalskis also uh, uh, created the Happy Little Sleaze Company, which is... It's similar to like OnlyFans, um, but this is where you can do nude uh, paint with me's. And wow. a lot of the actors who are nude, they're doing the, the little Afro poof hair as well. I don't know if you call it Afro poof. If it's I call it Afro but, poof for sure. Um, that one makes have, me want to squirt some oil paint out of my uh, paintbrush. Thank you. He did use oil paint. He always used oil based paints. Lots of these creators are using latex-based paints for um, health reasons. Hold on, my fucking thing stopped recording. Okay. No, it didn't. So that is the only, that is the Happy Little Sleaze. They also have the Happy Little Sneeze Company. This is a tissue manufacturer. They have the Happy Little Bees Company. This is a honey manufacturer. Happy Little Crease. This is, they sell those things that stop the crease in your shoe when you bend over so that your shoes don't get creased. I hate that so much. They also have copyrighted the Happy Little <laughs> Grease Company. This is a grease collection company. They come to your restaurant, they clean out the grease trap, they collect the grease, they bring Which it you need to, to you. you need to get that scheduled for your place, Jack. I do. Like soon. They sell that to bear bait companies. The Happy Little Geese Company. This they sell geese, little baby geese mail order. You can get your flock delivered to your front door. They all have little hairdos. They also have the Happy Little Fleas Company. This is a flea and tick prevention medicine that you can get through one eight hundred um Pet Smart. Yeah. They have the Happy Little Freaks Company. This is uh, also known as the Halloween Superstore. They come up to your neighborhood every, uh, geez, August now, and they set up shop. Halloween Superstore, they set up shop in the old JCPenney's and the old Best Buy's in your neighborhoods. That is thanks to the Happy Little Freaks Company. The Happy Little Yee Company. This is clarified butter. This is sold under the manufacturer name Happy Little Yee. It Their logo is a um, goat with the hairdo. Oh, I was hoping it'd be Bob Ross dressed up as an Indian man. The Kowalskis also have used Bob Ross's likeness in the Happy Little Weed Company. Uh oh. Yes, that is right. A cannabis distribution center. Probably your um, favorite. I love it. Happy Little Pea Company. This is similar to the Sheenus or the Shiwi or the Go Girl. This is a funnel-like silicone device that you can put around your labia, vulva, and pee into it, and out it comes through something like a penis. Wow, that makes you want to shoot oil paint out of my sheenus. They also copyrighted the Happy Little Tweed Company. This is a clothing manufacturer that uses um, tweed fabric to make business suits for women who are in low-income areas. 
the Happy Little Dot TV company. Oh, Happy Little God. Dot TV is where you can go to stream Bob Ross and also uh, content from the Happy Little Sleaze company. Mm. Um, Happy Little Glee, which is a painting themed season of Glee where they do songs about, you guessed it, oil paint. The Happy Little Spree Company, which is those little candies, little spree candies that are like chalk on the inside and dust on the outside. Um, you can get those, you can get um, Happy Little Squee, which is like a Squishmallow, but it's just like a little Squishmallow of Bob Ross. And there's also a paint palette one. It's like an anthropomorphic paint palette and then a paintbrush and the um, yeah. the paint scraper thing that he would use too. Happy Little Twee Company. The Kowalskis are in collaboration with, you guessed it, Zoe Deschanel. They are doing the Happy Little Twee Company where you can get all your polka dot dresses, hair ribbons, ballerina flats, um, bumpets for your hair. You can get your bangs lined up. That is the Happy Little Tea Company. We have the Happy Little Tea Company. Obviously, that's tea, imports, exports. Um, and Happy Little G, which is like, um, I, yeah, what is I that put that one? one down. I wrote that late at night last night and then I fell asleep and I didn't finish, but it was going to be like a Xi Jinping. Uh, Xi Jinping. I haven't hashed mm-hmm. that one out okay. yet. Well, happy we, birthday you can do another to take Bob on okay. Ross. So, is that it? Yeah. You think that, you know, you think when you have a merchandising opportunity like that, you would want to exploit it uh, as many times as you can. But it sounds like that's a pretty reasonable number of uh, products. I oh, mean, they're still that. going. Those Kowalskis, the d- devil never sleeps. They're happy. doing happy little Sweet. this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. So. All right. Well, happy birthday to um, Nancy Cartwright, who is the voice of Bart Simpson, which is a woman, which is what not... Sh- shouldn't be that it should be me the new voice of bart simpson and i want to say thank you for listening to the happy birthday podcast and and thank you for being so such a stable presence in my life jackie and thank you paul for being such an unstable presence in my life as well congressman bart stupak you've betrayed our constitution you sold us out on the health care vote And now it's time for you to pay the political price. Join the Tea Party Express as we send Bart Stupak packing for an early retirement. Log on to TeaPartyExpress.org as we fight to defeat Bart Stupak. Our country deserves better pack. TeaPartyExpress.org is responsible for the content of this ad. Is this helpful? This might. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That looks, that's (laughs) expensive. That's expensive. It's not. It was 15 bucks, I think. Okay. Well, expensive. It was for my school library program that I took a couple of years ago to be a school librarian. Oh. Are you a school? I'm not a school librarian. Oh. I'm a library aide at a public library. Just as good. Ooh. That's probably yeah. better. You don't want to be the li- you want to be the 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 nice. one in the librarian's ear. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. The man behind them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, the man behind the old matronly <laughs> woman. <laughs> say like, hey, I think we got. To- I don't know what what would you say. We have to restock the World War II history shelf. Like, <laughs> oh, you're right. You're that's right. Well, that's well stocked. <laughs> We're good on that one. I believe that every library, it's like, oh my god, a whole wall of just swastikas and tanks, and I it's know. like, get some more, uh, get some more stuff about like the Three Stooges in there. But that, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'll save then my. It's just called the men's section, which I thought yes, exactly. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Well, thanks thank for coming you. on. And I will give a, I will, I will set the table a little bit. Hello, my name is Dan. This is the Happy Birthday Podcast. This is a person joining us to be our guest who I will just come out and say it. I don't meet a lot of people in the YouTube comment section, but that is how we <laughs> came into contact. <laughs> uh, we have a user by the name of, I believe it was Goose Gaskins on the, on the YouTube. Correct. Yeah. Correct. If you, if you have a, a genuine Christian name, you can, uh, Type that in the chat right now or say it out loud, whatever you want. It's Justin. Justin. Hi. 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 Big fan. I found your 
uh, podcast on YouTube when I was quarantining with COVID a couple months back. Ooh. Oh. And uh, it was my first time with it. So I was a little, yeah. it was, it was, you know, I, I felt like that Gaffigan joke about like watching a very popular movie mm. way after everyone else has. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen Heat? Yeah, like 15 years ago. But yeah. um, so it was, I was very uh, isolated, but I found you guys and I just started going back through the um, yeah. to the, the archive and was loving it. And uh, I think that's when I commented about diagnosing you or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that was- <laughs> yeah, some sort of, so we, there was some sort of clip of us talking about bowels or boogers, whatever it was. And Shocking. You know, we always get, use yeah. more diagnoses. <laughs> so it no, sounds like. You're not maybe a proper medical doctor, but you're you're you're, you're a library aide. Is that a, is that? A, is I'm that a library a... aide, yeah, which is just the lowest on the totem pole. You know, I yeah. shelve, I do customer service, I help people find stuff, things like that. But I am I'm not a proper medical doctor, but I am a doctor. Like, are you familiar with the Halloween film franchise? Uh yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of like Doctor Loomis. Perfect. I carry a gun. Oh, yeah. well, you have a chance to win another gun today if you can guess some of these birthdays. <laughs> and God damn it, man, this chair keeps like, it's one of those chairs that you can lower and raise and it lowers on its own. How fucking oh, heavy am chair. I? Yeah. Chair, yeah. Now your wife got that at Spencer's. Uh, <laughs> I'll be on here talking like, hello, I'm on the internet. Whoa. You know. <laughs> but God damn. Okay. So what were you saying? Oh, I, I just, I, I guess just, uh, you know, I imagine... Uh, even if you're not if you're not properly trained on how to be like a hospital doctor, whatever that is, at the library you probably see all sorts of people with ailments coming in and out, right? Tons, tons. <laughs> yeah. COVID, yeah. frankly. Yeah. COVID, and now that early voting has started, oh, there's a lot of diagnosing I could do of, of people, <laughs> but mm-hmm. that's not this type of podcast. So. No, that is voter diagnosis, and that is a different show that we do. Uh, it's just me and me and Jackie typically. Oh, I would listen okay. to that. I would listen to that. I would too. Patrons, uh, tune in for a new episode of uh, Voter Diagnosis that will be coming out uh, tomorrow. Right, guys? For oh, yeah. on election right? day tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Monday, October twenty eighth, election day. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Make sure you get out to the polls yes. and at least check them out. I don't. I can't say for certain it's tomorrow that the voting day is, but just drive by if you just take the day off work and drive by. And if there's a lot of other cars out there, there's a good chance that tomorrow is voting day. So look into that. Yeah, you we have we've never actually. in the history of humanity had any problem with people just following a big group of people. <laughs> no, yeah. no. You Not see a, at all. You see a bunch of guys in one place. You get in there. You do what they're doing. Frankly, <laughs> check it out at least. Yeah. And remember, if you do stop by, listeners, if you stop by your polling location, uh, you don't need to bother with a ballot or anything. Raise your left hand for Harris. Raise your right hand for uh, <laughs> Trump, and they will see that. They will count that. Uh, what about for RFK? Uh, you grab That's your both junk. hands up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, libertarian is grab your junk. I think. Oh, okay. And then uh, Jill Stein is you, you tickle your toes a little bit. <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's been a long day. I've been I've been awake for almost two hours now. So, <laughs> what? Uh, we we could guess some celebrity birthdays. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you two questions? Yeah. First of all, we will guess which celebrity has a birthday. Second of all, I am just curious. You do not have to give a a a a street address or anything like that. Where are you calling from today? Reno, Nevada. Holy God! Oh, wow. I love it there. Biggest little city in the world. Oh, I've heard. You've been there, Jackie, right? Yeah. I said I love it there, but I chunked out so you didn't hear me. Oh, yeah. When, I, I, when were you here, Jackie? Two years ago. Oh, cool. What were you doing? I was on my way to Vegas to get married. Hey, congrats. And so congrats on your restaurant. I can't wait to check um, that place out. Thank you so much, friend from the internet. <laughs> yes, it looks delicious. I'm probably going to buy a shirt because it's going to be oh, a while no. before I get to the UP. Uh, well, no, we'll be here for you. Start heading out tomorrow. You'll get there in a couple days. Shouldn't be a problem <laughs> at all. all right. Can um, do. I'm originally from Chicago and I never made it to mm, the UP. My yes. brother went to Michigan State and like, you know, mm. I have no excuses. Not that that's 
you know. Well, yeah. you don't really There's need an excuse to not. There's not much reason to, not, to yeah. get up here. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we're trying to keep people from Chicago out. But hey. it, oh, in the case of you being a listener and a friend of the show, we are happy to have you. Come on up anytime. That's true. What yeah. if I even said that I feel like, and I know this is a different geographic location, but that I feel that Detroit is so unfairly maligned and Michigan in general is unfairly maligned. Does that earn me any points? Accurate. I agree. Yes. I would agree. I, I think that sure. Michigan is not maligned enough in certain areas. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just some of the men that I've met there and <laughs> been very rude to me i don't live there anymore i live in portland oregon i knew that i was just gonna ask what you how you're feeling about portland it's good it's kind of uh rain it kind of rained not kind of it rained yesterday but that's okay yeah it happens you know what they say what do they say jackie if you don't like the weather in portland wait five minutes and it'll it was, still be raining. Wait 15 they say minutes. That about Chicago, too. Everyone yeah. says that about everyone's weather. Listeners, I'm know. sorry. I'm trying to be more positive, but I'm sick of everyone thinking the weather where they live is so special. It's not. It's quirky. <laughs> it's quirky. All right. Sorry for, sorry for screaming. I had a, right. Like I said, I had a long week. I'm in a terrible mood. Well, I have a good <laughs> library okay. pivot if you want me okay, to hop yes, into that. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, Justin. Yes. So you work in a library. I do. This guy is from Alexandria, f- uh, home of all libraries or mm. the first library. True. Um, he died in the year 489 AD, probably. Uh, let's see. He was a. I think he was a pope. Oh. Might have been. I think he was a pope. Let's just go with pope. Um, do you know anyone like that who may have died on this day? He was not necessarily born on this day, but he may have died on this day. He also may have died on November 11th, but we'll go with the 29th of October. Pope Pius the 13th. You're close with the letter P, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, it's a P pope, and he was the third of his kind um and let's see if i can get his wife uh pop quiz can you name the current pope current pope i was raised catholic too this is bad um we'll just dub it in we'll we'll, we can dub in a different thing is it francis okay okay who was the the weird one before that wasn't there like a mean pope or am i yeah pope benedict Benedict yeah, yeah, yeah Hitler, Hitler Youth Pope. Hitler yeah. Youth Pope. That's the one. We yeah. all deserve second chances. <laughs> this mm-hmm. is true. And that's what the the, the 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 papal chair is all about: is second chances, and third and fourth chances a lot of times. And- <laughs> Fifth, <laughs> sixth, seventh. Every day a new chance. Uh, so let's just. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I'm I'm back on track. <laughs> all right. So we'll say this guy is Egyptian. But with a Grecian name. <laughs> but I think it was all just kind of one thing back then. Just yeah, Panagia, <laughs> right? Yes. Was it Pope yeah. Pangean? Pope Panagia? You're really close <laughs> with that P. Hang on to that P. Take it a little more. Well, we could take it two different ways. One, you could go with the name Wikipedia uses for him, which is the boring p pope name everyone is familiar with or you could go with the grecian version of that which i prefer are you greek paul no i'm finnish uh in english but we're just getting started sorry um (laughs) that's uh, nice uh, i allow oh Uh, sorry i wasn't listening i was just gonna say we allow no greeks in this zoom meeting (laughs) (laughs) thank god Um, um no offense, I'm just saying it's it's the plan that I signed up for, and that's yeah, no, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, none taken. Um, is it is it Pope Peter? You're right about Peter, and I'll tell you this: he goes by Peter in the uh, in a lot of ways, and he also went by uh, Petrus, which I think is cool. Okay, Pope and Peter. Huh. His last name. I want you to think of a frothing, foaming dog. Um, Pope Peter Rabies the Third. Oh, Peter Rabies. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, sorry, f- foaming frothing dogs. All I got for you. It's not rabies, but think about what what kind of dog would that be? What would you call a dog like that? What what, what would you say about that dog? Mad. Close uh, with the M. Stick to that. I mean, these are great hints. I don't. I know. I'm knocking it out of the park today. <laughs> Does everyone else know what this is? Am I the only one? No, that? I don't. There's I don't know. No way anyone knows what this I'm is. I'm thinking Petrus Cujo. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. I don't know why I got out of bed this Petrus morning. Mongus. Petrus Mongus. Rest in peace. You passed Mongus. away on this day or November 11th. Wait, um, what, what, what's the dog? A dog? Mon- uh, mongrel. <laughs> mongrel. That's or horrible. in Greek, it'd be mongrel. Bad clue. Uh, mongus. Bad clue. <laughs> no, it was good. I almost threw you up just, just now how bad mongus. that a clue was. Mongus. <laughs> Petrus, Petrus Mongus. Think of like I, a, you know what? We only did this one. Mon- I only picked this one because I wanted to say Mongus out loud. Mongus. Yeah. I like it. Oh, think like about it. like a Mongus dog. Put your Mongus. <laughs> yeah. Think <laughs> about a big old Mongus dog. <laughs> Does a mongrel uh, mean that a dog is mad? I no, thought it was it like, doesn't. a crossbreed or a half breed. Am I using that yes. term correctly? Yes, absolutely. There's no incorrect <laughs> way to use a that month, term. If you will. <laughs> Paul, no, Paul, that doesn't mean Mongus. that. A mongrel is not. What is, let's see. Mongrel, a dog of no uh, definable type. Has no nationality. With gnashing teeth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, gnashing teeth. Well, if it's in the definition. Writhing with gnashing teeth and fangs. Spit. <laughs> So, okay. rest in peace, Petrus Mongus, and I'll, with that, I'll kick it on over to, we'll leave the Library of Alexandria, and I'll kick it on over to Jackie, our resident page oh. master. I like that start, by the way, the Library of Alexandria. That was cool. That is pretty cool. The least I could do. Yeah, thank you. Um, I also have, I have one for you. This is a woman. She was born in 1967, and her, her correlation to dogs is that... Her husband's name is Dog. Oh, uh, um, Linda, the bounty hunter. Barbara, the bounty hunter. Um, Dog, the shit. Bounty hunter. I think I gave you the. I think I gave you the wrong clue. <laughs> this woman is a bounty hunter. She might not be his wife. I thought it was, but I could be wrong about that too. I thought you'd suss that out on your own. Yeah, I, I do. It is his wife. She looks like this. Yeah. But, um, can, but that's not her name. Can you describe what that you to the said. listeners, Jackie? Listeners can't see sure, the picture of a lovely woman. Sure, this looks like my mom home. in like the early 2000s. I was like, going to say that. <laughs> tan, really blonde. A bit of a Grecian glow. Full smile. Kind of a mongus sort of build. Grecian, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gnashing teeth. He's Gnashing. just foaming at the mouth right now. Um, <laughs> Red um, eyes will oh. spit. <laughs> what was the name you said? I said either Linda or Barbara, but I'm thinking of Linda McMahon, I believe. No, wait. Okay. Yeah. So that's not right. Because she's a there's, right, type. You're there's right a, with the B name. There's a big bug on my basement wall right now. Oh, fuck. Do you want to see it? Bug. It's not a bug. <laughs> bug, not big, it's bug, not bug not of the bug. bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> this lady's first name is like, um, it's a nickname that her nickname could be um, also could be Liz and have the same full name. Oh, Beth. Beth, yes. 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 She was Last actually one name. of my favorite characters. Beth. Um... Kind of like if you need something for your lips because they're really dry. Beth Balmer? No. Great guess, though. <laughs> Beth, Beth Chapstick. Stick. <laughs> Beth Chap. Chap. Yes. Beth Chapman. 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 Yes. Very nice. Okay. Wow. That and, is. And happy birthday. Beth Chapman and, Bounty Hunter. Yeah. That and is it, Dog's last name. So dog, they were married. Dog Chaplin. Yeah. And in yeah. honor of that bounty hunting birthday, you have won a free AR 15. We will send <laughs> to your, <laughs> the Reno, Nevada post office. Just go pick it up. <laughs> the post office. Right to the library, there. honestly. Yeah, I will. Yeah. You could probably. I, mean, I, I haven't spent a ton of time in Nevada. Are you allowed to open carry in the library down there? Uh, no, we are a gun-free zone. 
Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, which, according to certain people, is where all the crimes happen. But mm-hmm. we, uh, we, you are not allowed to. No, wait. But one of the bosses did say something about open carry at one point. So maybe you can. And I think we're concealed carry, too, now, too. Okay. Yeah. It was like, right. yeah, it says gun free zone on the door, but you know. <laughs> we're you know. Cool. <laughs> they never pay yeah. attention to any other signs. So That's who cares? Good point. Hey, how else yeah. are you going to keep the peace in the computer lab, right? Exactly. <laughs> Even people quiet. People get out yeah. of hand in there. Yeah. Just send it to the library. So yeah. I do want to ask a couple questions right off the right off the top here. What's what's the? Uh, I never really watched Dog the Bounty Hunter. What can you tell me about that show? Everyone, all at once, please. Hawaii. Sure. Do- um, he Hawaii. was like a human dog hybrid. He had guns, and he would hunt down. I think it was pedophiles. People. I thought no. it was like. People with unpaid was, parking tickets and whatnot. Right? Yeah, I think it was more right, that. Right, right. Yeah. Parking, yeah. <laughs> People both. with outstanding warrants. Yeah. They ended um, up being a lot of times the same thing. And I think <laughs> his given name was not Dog. It was like Mongus or something like that. <laughs> Mongus <laughs> Chapman. Yeah. Chapman the third. That makes um, sense. Okay, so it's like you have unpaid pedophilia tickets, unpaid parking oh, tickets. We gotta. Mongous. He goes, finds them, he drags them out of the library, he throws them in a big old mud puddle, right? Yes. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and he was very positive while doing it. That's what I appreciated. He was always trying to help <laughs> people he? get it's on the right the, path. Yeah. It's about rehabilitation, not just the throwing someone Yeah, like, out. less, like, come on, let's move away from pedophilia. Let's get more <laughs> towards, like, you know. You know, what a more positive people. direction. Oh, yeah. Bounty hunting. Yeah, yeah. 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 bounty hunting. Physically you start walking the right path, young man. <laughs> Vandalism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very sweet. You know, I kind of, every now and then, an idea just sprouts out of my head off the top of my head, and I'm struck by my own genius. Do you think that the criminal justice system would be more rehabilitative? If instead of locking people up, you just had some big mongus guy drag you out of your house and throw you in a mud puddle, because that would you'd learn your lesson. It's humiliating. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I would but, stop doing what I'm doing right now. I would <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. And listeners, if Dog yeah. the Bounty Hunter stormed into my house and picked me up by the scruff of my neck and threw me in a puddle, he'd be right to do so. But not before <laughs> I hit you with a celebrity birthday. That oh 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 oh. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had d- multiple okay. thoughts at once. Jackie, can you help me get back on the right track? Didn't we have another librarian before this? this we did. Second, yeah, uh, she was at the worker. library while she was on, too. That was that fun. That was cool. That made me nervous, oh. actually, that she was doing that in the library. I was like, For her, yeah. <laughs> don't do this. But she's still there. It's apparently. like called the AR 15s. I know. Yeah. <laughs> right. No don't podcasting. open that package in. You have to leave work. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we are looking at a actor, famous American actor born in Brooklyn, New York, uh, on this day, 1947, a long time ago, 1947. And I am, I've never impersonated this gentleman before, but I'm going to try to do an an impression of him, and maybe you can get it from there. All right. Okay, let's see here. (sighs) Hold on a second. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! <laughs> this shark is pissing me off! Wallace Shawn. No, close though. Oh. I, just, I, I did kind of sound like Wallace. Shout out Wallace Shawn. We never, I, we, yeah. I, that guy's great, right? He's the best. Yeah, he's always he's the best. shrieking about something with that little bald head. No, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try oh, again. Oh, oh. Okay. No, I actually. I okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. You, you think I you know? But hold on. Hold on. I need to confirm. Bob, you are really getting on my nerves. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. That was great. That was good. That, and that 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 solidified it. Okay. Richard Dreyfus. Richard. Wow. Dreyfus the third, or just Richard I Dreyfus? I guess. Yeah. My my impression is this. And listeners, our guest has passed out in his chair as if he is on Club Random with Bill Maher. I am on Club Random. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> no, really, is this, when is Bill getting here? That's yeah. what and I care about. That's the, oh, hold on a second. I'll go get him. Hold on a second. Oh, yes. 
and that's the thing with this whole woke thing it's like <laughs> i get it like you want to be tolerant of people but it just gets to a point where it's like okay can't i just say that all muslims are terrorists i mean you know have some whiskey why don't you have a, a whiskey Boo. wow i agree thank you bill <laughs> <laughs> what his guts normally are. Or did, if you, I don't know if you saw Henry Winkler take him to task. I thought that was fantastic. I was like, if, if I, as if I needed another reason to love Henry Winkler. I think I did great. see. So I think I did see that. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Um, and he also kind of started slinking down in his chair. I, something's going on with those chairs. It's the same kind of chair I have. <laughs> yes. I have the, full circle. The so Richard Dreyfus, that Richard, is my guess. You are correct. You are correct. Richard Dreyfus, who was known for Jaws, Jaws. Is he in Jaws 2? I don't think he's in the second one, actually. No. No. He calls. Other 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 movies, um, such Strange as Encounters. Strange Encounters of the Weird of Kind. A dangerous mind. And <laughs> known for his recent appearance on Club Random with Bill Maher, where he got so drunk and high that he slid in his chair. Like he was yeah, probably also yeah. wearing like slick velvet pants, and it's hard to stay uh, on yeah. your cushion when you're wearing pants like that. So yeah. Mr. Uh, Hollins Oppenheimer is Mr. my favorite. Mr. Hollins Oppenheimer was a good one. Shout out Oppenheimer in summer. Um, uh, and what other? Uh, okay, I don't. I, I mean, what do you say about Richard Dreyfus? He's got an annoying son, I think. Isn't that right? Does he have an annoying son? Julia. Ben. Julia, yeah. Ben. ben, ben Julia. Thank you. Yeah. Ben Julia is very annoying. <laughs> he, I, you know, I've I've gone I've gone deep into Ben's w- Wikipedia. Oh. And uh, recently, and he does seem kind of annoying, but like has good causes every once in a while. So it's like it's uh, one of those things where it's like he may be in. Can I swear? Oh, uh, time. yeah, but I'll bleep it in real time. He <laughs> may be an asshole, bleep. <laughs> but he's our asshole. OK, mm, yeah, well, that's honestly, how we feel about Paul. <laughs> yes. And that's how I feel about my own asshole as well. <laughs> <laughs> it may be an asshole, but it's my asshole. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I will say, and I'm not just backpedaling like a coward. Uh, but maybe I am. I don't know. But when I said that, I realized I don't actually know what I think is annoying about Ben Dreyfus. I think I've seen other people like on Twitter talk about him. And I just, in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, that guy's a douche. <laughs> and well, I don't know I think, anything about him. I think he's been Twitter's main character, as the kids say. Mm. A couple times, maybe, maybe he had a bad tweet here or there, which mm-hmm. I think is enough to get dog to come to your house. Well, yeah. should be. He would be yeah. throwing me in puddle after puddle if you saw some of the tweets that I'm doing. Our Twitter account, garbage. Who runs that Damn. account? Me. Damn. Is it doing us any good? Absolutely not. Yeah. But I also might have been confusing uh, Ben Dreyfus with who's the other? Tell me what the annoying son, John Landis's son, right? Oh, Max Landis is Thank a real. You. Yeah, he's something else. Yeah, Jackie, do you know? Do, know you, do you know any annoying sons, Jackie? No. Do you know any gorgeous <laughs> sons? Oh yes, um, son of Sam. Okay, stunning, God. gorgeous. Justin, I want to jump in real quick, and this is not a guessing game. But one time, um, Jackie has a, a tattoo of a son, and one time, some lady. Um, saw her in public and and said your son is so gorgeous and jackie thought she was talking about a boy and jackie does not have any children at all and she could not understand why this lady was saying your son is so gorgeous (laughs) so there you go to to, to jackie's like in her defense like that is a weird way to put that right yeah about a tattoo yes someone say your your tattoo is so which it's i mean it's also okay. if i had like a son he would probably be young enough that calling him gorgeous not okay dog yeah, bounty so hunter would of, be yeah yeah exactly it's kind of like also talking about your age too right you know yeah weird way. i don't even think she realized it she's mean she was being mean to me she was bullying me or do you talk to her anymore <laughs> no <laughs> this is oh. a customer at work <laughs> oh okay. okay a stranger at the restaurant stranger. No, this was before when I worked at a drive through coffee shop. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and this will be our new spinoff series where I just relate uh, Jackie's anecdotes. Did I freeze? Am I here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're here. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, while we're talking about fathers and sons, oh. I could ask you about the 
Oh boy. Father and a father of uh, the Church of Satan, founder, Ooh. who also perished on this day, 1997. What is that guy's name? Anton LaVey. You got it. Wow. Yeah. Honor Bucks. Another fountain of knowledge. God yes. damn. I know. Pays to work in the library. True. And be a Satanist. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Indeed. That'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah I, when he Very died, I was like, Satan didn't uh, save you this time, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. He sure did not. Gotcha. Dude, let's 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 get away from this whole birthday guessing. Let's talk about my Wi Fi internet. Can we do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, help me out here. What's do you have any advice for me on this this internet connection? It's terrible. Well, I actually like that we don't have your video anymore, not because I don't like looking at you, but because the the picture is great. The little Oh thank you. That is a frame (laughs) from a uh video I posted on YouTube about eighteen years ago that I made an MS paint. And then when Google and YouTube merged, it made that my profile picture and I never (laughs) changed it. Why would you? I mean, don't you? (laughs) Listeners, uh, check out Daniel Pasco on Zoom and you will see. (laughs) Hit me up on Zoom and also hit me up on uh, Venmo, Daniel-Pasco-5. I'm accepting all donations. I'm going to check it right now live on the air. Live on the air. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. (laughs) Nope. It is empty. (laughs) The till is empty. And Fill the till. Fill the till. Stop the still. (laughs) <laughs> Stillers, I love the Stillers. Oh, same. Happy birthday, Jerry Stiller, also. And John Witherspoon, or rest in peace, oh. John Witherspoon. Oh, I love him. So good. I, I've been I, I've been rewatching Black Jesus, the Adult Swim show, and he is so good in that. I never saw that. Mm. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I like it. Um, wow, and- he was born Witherspoon, changed it to Witherspoon. Wow. Brother William was also a singer songwriter in Motown. But his brother William was born William and changed it to William. <laughs> yes, I've seen William that here too. Yes. Yeah. It makes sense. It must have been like an Ellis Island thing. And it's also like if Ellis. he's not if he's not gonna be a weather man, then Yeah, why would you? Yeah. And look at this. Another sibling, Cato, was the director of the Detroit's local PBS station. So oh, cool. A big show business family. Cato Thanks. Witherspoon? Mm-hmm. That's a cool name. That is a very cool K A T O. Yep, uh, C A T O. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay. but probably That's changed great. it. Yeah. And John Witherspoon <laughs> also Tell. learned uh, the trumpet and French horn. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. Did learn to play I, them, was... or did he just learn about their existence at one point? <laughs> <laughs> Music yeah, and learn one. learn to play. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. That that one did bum me out. That death, I will be honest. There, you know how you don't you don't feel, you don't expect it to, and then you're like, oh wow, that yeah. that one got me. Mm-hmm. He's a staple. Yep, same yeah. same. It's like usually a celebrity death. I'm like Matthew Perry, good. <laughs> yeah, about time. <laughs> it, it's either thank God <laughs> yeah. finally, or oh man, Frank Fritz from American Pickers, rest in yeah. piss, motherfucker. <laughs> but then it's like John Witherspoon. I'm like, oh no. I'm sorry. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm all I'm, I'm, I'm being mongus right now. But can I yeah. can I quote my favorite John Witherspoon <laughs> moment with the impression? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the Richard Dreyfus impression or just his voice? Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> let's try yeah. that. Let's try that. Richard Dreyfus uh, in a scene from Friday. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> Oh, you better put some water on that damn shit. <laughs> Every time I come in here, you in the kitchen. Keep on my. <laughs> Damn it, I think I froze. I froze again. <laughs> Eating all the pig's feet. Eating all the hog malls. Oh, oh no. Wait, no. no. <laughs> you're back. I, you're back. Am I back? Am I back? I like pig's feet. <laughs> yes. I'm missing the bit that I spot. I have. I apologize for my internet connection, but I don't apologize for sharing the information that Richard Dreyfus was the original choice to play the fan in Fridays. <laughs> Thank you. And they don't. <laughs> and the weird thing was they don't address it at no. all. <laughs> just halfway <laughs> through just, the movie, it changes. Yeah. He's like the thug bit my pants or whatever with the original. One. <laughs> the thug was a mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Oh fuck. All right, let's let's let's. Oh God, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna try to turn my video back on if if if, if it craps out. We got I don't you. know. Okay. What I've been trying to do with this internet is just keep using it and hoping it gets better on its own, <laughs> and that's not been working at all. No. no. And I'm just gonna leave my video off. I'm sorry, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm freaking out, frankly. Freaking. Should, what, what should we do? Should we all restart or? Um... Yeah. Hey, welcome to the Richard <laughs> Dreyfus podcast. podcast. <laughs> I'm Bill Maher, and today we're going to be talking about woke culture and how much it's gotten out of control. Jackie, have you listened to Donald Trump on the Joe Rogan experience yet? I have not heard Jump on Joe. I heard all about it. It is boring. It. Oh, my God. It everywhere. It's pretty boring. I haven't seen any clips I yet because it. it's I pulled, not good. I pulled it up yesterday, and I played it on half speed for a little bit, and that was pretty entertaining to see Trump kind of like... <laughs> He was just a stupid guy. He was a stupid <laughs> son of a bitch. I look uh, like Mongoose. <laughs> and that's just crazy. The people have attacked you. They stupid. All right, people get the people get the idea. So yes, shout out, Mongoose will get me every up. time. <laughs> Listeners, um, I, if a typical Joe Rogan episode isn't long enough, cut that speed in half. You got six hours of Rogan. And one quick thing before we let you go, I'm going to turn on my video real quick so you can see yay. that in my clammy little hands, I am holding a book called The Secret Language of Birthdays. This was written by two professors, probably, named Gary Goldschneider and Juiced Elfers. Um, you're a you're a library uh man of the library. Are you familiar with Gary Goldschneider or Juiced Juiced Elfers? Uh, no, but that's I'll, sh that, I'll show you uh, those names if that helps. Juiced was my original name, Justin. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that book, if you go to my, I'm pretty sure that's the one. If you go to my day, my birthday, it will say "Excited Instability" as my like tagline. Oh, Ooh. you have cracked open the, the, the soft, soft covers of this tome before. I think so. It might be a different one. I'm not sure. Because there's a lot of those at the library, those types of books. And the, I like them. The birthday section? Yeah. 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 The, are you are you looking at books on the clock? You can't be doing that. No, of course not. Just, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm judging books by covers. That's it. Perfect. Listeners, you heard um, it here first. The Reno and Public Library. There Libraries. is a whole, Sorry. your Go entire... Ahead. On is in the birthday section. So I, <laughs> all right. Be. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I cannot move forward with this Dan. book. So tell me about this book, Dan. Until you tell me. Can everyone hear me? By the way, I feel like I'm frozen. I feel like I hear you now. Yep. You're back. I can okay. Hear you. <sighs> all I can do is just hope that next week it's better. You know. <laughs> Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, make yeah. no change. Yeah. I say maybe talk through the tambourine next time and see if that helps. I can do that right mm. now. Actually, no, hold yeah. on. I got I got to stay on task. I got to stay on task. Okay. Sorry. I'll talk through the tambourine after hours. Because <laughs> the fans don't want to hear it. They don't. <laughs> but I do want to hear if you can tell me what is your birthday. Your Justin. birthday. July 24th, 1981. Wow, Ooh, that's eighties guy. Cool. 80s guy. <laughs> 80s guy. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that? July twenty fourth. Hold on a second. It's a big, big book. Oh my goodness. You were certainly not telling tales out of the library. It does say July twenty fourth, the day of exciting instability. Ooh. What the hell? Chaos. My wife is a um, fan of books like that, and she brought that into the family when and one of the first times that she, uh, or, or maybe she grabbed it from my mom's shelf because my mom liked stuff like that too. And when she said exciting instability, my brother was like, wow. My brother doesn't <laughs> believe in stuff like that, really. Yeah. He's more of a man of science, like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it do, it does kind of describe me, so it's pretty cool. I like Ju it. Juiced elfers don't miss. We say it time and time again. Um, and if you come for the Justin, you best not miss. You best not. And I will <laughs> I will give you a little heads up. You might already know this, but you share a birthday with Amelia Earhart. 
she's my favorite shared birthday for sure. I Michael would... Richards. Oh, at one, at, at one time, <laughs> stand up, was stand up comedian. Favorites. Yeah, um, awesome. I would say it's what's so poetic about Amelia Earhart is that it was her heart being in the air that led to her um, uh, crashing, being a skeleton on the beach. I know it's heartbreaking. I guess she could still be out there. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I do no, know she got that eaten by crabs. There is a whole lot of information here, and I'm trying to stay on task, but sometimes when I start reading stuff, it, it, it slows my brain down. I think you can probably hear it slowing down right now. Carl, like Carl, Carl Malone. How about that? Oh, eh, okay. <laughs> the mailman. Not, not that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> the mailman. Well, I mean, was, you know. It was nice that he would bring the all the uh, his teammates their letters and packages every day. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like, but he wore the Santa outfit for it too, so he was like mixing. Oh, it was weird. Wow. Well, like the big old. Mm-hmm. I, I will, didn't like it. I will say this this is the last birthday that I will share that you share a birthday with, but uh, Zelda Fitzgerald, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife, excuse me, uh, says she was schizophrenic and died in a hospital fire. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, I was no. going to say, talk about exciting instability. Yeah, yeah. Hospital fire. Right? Jesus. What a bummer. Yeah, that, shouldn't, was, yeah. that shouldn't be allowed to happen. She was very misunderstood, I think. Uh, you know, because it was, it, I, I was an English major, not to brag. Um, but uh, it was a lot of like, oh, F. Scott's crazy wife type yeah. stuff. And it's like, yeah, come on, guys. Let's be a little more well, understanding in the thing. You would, you would, people would think you were crazy, too, if you were in a friggin' burning hospital, right? That's true. Hop, hopping That's up and down, point. going, help, help, put me out, put me out, stop, drop, and roll. They didn't have stop, <laughs> drop, and roll back then. I never thought of that. You're right. Yeah. I'm sure you, you didn't, but I do want you to think about this. There's a lot of information here. I really don't have time to go through the whole uh, two-page okay. section, but there is a list of three strengths and three weaknesses Okay. for those born on July 24th. And I'm going to try to start my video here so I can look you in the eye when I tell you these. Well, I'm looking weaknesses. something up, so we're not. I'm not going to look you. <laughs> what are you looking up? Oh, there's another one of the Kardashians is July 24th, and I was just looking to see which one. It was. Oh, this book was printed before Kardashians. <laughs> which let's get an updated version of this book. We need Kardashians. We need Sabrina the Carpenters. We need a hot Tua girl. We need all these celebrities. <laughs> but that's why we ought to write our own. I've been saying it. They need to update excited instability to spin on that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Words getting you off track. Right. No, I, <laughs> I know. I'm usually so <laughs> focused as well. So, I'll give you the good news first. Okay. Okay. Here okay. are your three strengths for those of you born on July 24. Justin, you are daring, exciting, and magnetic. Ooh. I think magnetic, Very we've cool. heard on a few of these before. But, yeah, that seems kind of a catch-all, but yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you're daring. Do you, like, jump out of uh, planes and stuff like that, or no? I'm doing it right now, yeah. Damn. For the listeners, I'm jumping out of a plane. Yes, and oh, his... Mike, I can see the earth behind you. Yeah, his face is, like, <laughs> getting, flapping it's getting larger. Wind, his wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, skydiving, and yet his internet <laughs> connection is still better than mine. Imagine that. Um, Imagine that. <laughs> All right, let's get serious here. I'm sorry to have to say this, but there's a list of three weaknesses. It can't all be. Ooh. It can't all be good news. There's bad, 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 bad news. I hope you are. You, are you sitting down for this? Oh, I am skydiving, but I'm in a chair. So yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> skydiving in a chair. Well, if you're a big, strapped to a chair, <laughs> you're nervous about yeah falling. Uh, yeah. Usually, yeah. beginners will give you a chair, so you're. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm not. I don't want to spoil it, but one of these I don't even want to say out loud. The first two I'm okay with. The last one is really gross. <laughs> so <laughs> give me the, give me the first two, and then let me see if I can guess the last one. Is that what you want to do? Or it's your show? No, you I don't even want to. I, I don't even want you to guess it. Game. I don't want to say it. Okay, well I'll say the first two. I'll say the first two that you can guess the third, but you'll okay. never guess it. There's a hint. You'll never guess it. Oh. You are unstable, flighty, which makes sense. You're jumping out of an airplane right now. Amelia Earhart. Yeah. Yeah. They can't put that 
Amelia Earhart was they flighty. Can't do Come that. on. That's pretty rough. Juice. Juice. Steal this a is a call sugar. out. That's a cop out. <laughs> and the third weakness <laughs> is to do. Oh. likely to die in a hospital <laughs> fire. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I would not have guessed that. No. <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. That was a little Zelda Fitzgerald humor. Can you, oh. can you guess oh, wow. what okay. the third weakness is? It's two words. The first one is an adverb. You should know what adverbs are. You work in a library. Mightily impotent. Close. <laughs> but thank you for that pivot because we are sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is the little blue pill that will make your penis <laughs> erect. <laughs> and we're sponsored erect. by Blue Chew and Stamps.com as well. No, the third weakness. Am I here? I'm, I'm not frozen. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. Sexually obsessive. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. I didn't want to say that to you. I just met you. But that's what it says in the book. So Who um, isn't? I'm not s- wrong. We're sending Dog the Bounty Hunter to your house. He's going to punish you for that weakness. <laughs> oh, no. That is, throw, um, me, throw me in a hot mud pile. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try to throw you in some hot mud to get you to cool down a little bit. See if that works because you need to. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't like that that was in the book. I, 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 might, I, I have to go. It's a little, <laughs> it's, a, yeah, it's a little iffy, but, you know. Well, Aren't we all... Anyway, I don't. Slightly I'm not. Daring, sexually obsessive. Those are some weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm daring in bed. I'm flighty in bed. I'm sexually obsessive in bed. Do the fortune cookie thing. Yeah. In mm-hmm. um, I, how can you be flighty and sexually obsessive? Don't those. those could be like weird. a hooker. Jackie. Anyone can be a hooker. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. I'm not, I, I am. Um, <laughs> thank you for your service. And I guess that answers that. Yeah, okay. I believe it. Yeah, um, I am, and I do. All right. Well, I'm very disappointed with that reading in the book. I, 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 I uh, shout out Amelia Earhart, though. Yes, absolutely. and one of the Kardashians, oh. apparently, and whichever of the Kardashians, if I actually remembered that correctly, I, I'm, I'm, not... I'm going for Rob. Let's say it's Rob. Robbie. And I am going to say that I've, I've been having a, a bit of difficulty the past couple minutes for a number of reasons. One, I know my internet connection is probably unstable. Number two, this is the day of exciting instability. Number three, the sexually obsessive mm-hmm. thing really threw me for a loop. Number four, I have got to go to the bathroom. So we might have to wrap mm. this up in a minute. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got to get a little snack, too. Can you tell? Can you bathroom see in my eyes obsessed. how much I have to go to the bathroom? I lied about the Kardashian. Let's just end it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, all right. damn it. <laughs> I t- I We're terrible. gonna get flagged for misinformation now. I'm sorry. Your it's infotainment right. and now your misinfotainment, and I'm sorry. <laughs> this kind of is misinfotainment, isn't it? I like that. Well, yeah. thank you for giving us that, uh, that on my hashtag that list. catchphrase. Yes, misinfotainment. Thanks for joining us. Also, yeah, this was Justin. fun. This was thank fun. you for having me. This was fantastic, and you are. I, I keep singing your praises to my friends, and, and thank you. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy you. your work thank you i appreciate that i really That's very nice. actually do and 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 anytime you need a last second fill in if like richard dreyfus can't make it or whatever sure. just email me okay deal you'll be on the hook right. for that. yeah yeah okay you're on call <laughs> wonderful all right all right y'all bye See you next time. bye misinfotainment I'm going to go get a blankie. I'm going to go get some grapes. I'll be right back. Did you hit us with the hashtags or no? Thank you for joining us, everyone. This has been the Happy Birthday Podcast. You can find us on the internet. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Peloton. We're on (laughs) TikTok. We're on Instagram. We're on X Twitter. Uh, check out the following hashtags if you want to track us down. Hashtag Ben Julia. Hashtag Mungus. Hashtag Misinfotainment. And hashtag JGF Gang. Dan, what else can we tell these very if fine If you listeners? are not done listening to this 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 show yet and you're looking at the, the, the thing where it shows how long it is on Spotify and you see, what, there's only like 30 seconds left, 45 seconds left, and I'm not done listening yet. What can I do? Well, you can sign up for Patreon. 
You can Patreon, become Patreon. That's an app. Which we're also sponsored by, Jackie. Apps. Thank you, apps. And you can download the Patreon app for just $1 a month. You can join our community and you will hear extra show after the show ends. We call it the afterbirth. It is a pun on the birthing process, which we believe is a sacred right that every woman uh, has. And I might have frozen. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, just trust me that I'm saying some good things. Become a patron. Be a patron. And you'll hear more. You'll hear more. Happy birthday podcast with your host Jackie <laughs> and Dan. And re- sign up to hear more. And in fact, I might even. I will. I will say this. I will say this. My uh, my Bart Simpson auditions. You know, I have more of those. I have more of those. And perfect. I would. Lo- I would like to hear those. Um, I don't believe you. If you text those to me. Or- yes. And we have uh, just real quick sponsors here. When you've got diarrhea, you want relief you can be sure of. It worked and fast. They're talking about diarrhea. Put off seeing my doctor because I was worried about needing surgery for my hemorrhoids. The pain, itching, and burning were awful. The do-, do you get diarrhea too? Yes, I get diarrhea. My immediate yes. reaction is, oh. Ah! I love that. Let me hear that one more time. Yes. Do you get diarrhea too? Yes. I get diarrhea. <laughs> yes. I get diarrhea. <laughs> my immediate reaction is, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in oh, trouble. Oh, oh, I- oh, oh, oh. That literally sounds like you. Oh my gosh. I'm in oh trouble. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I just washed these. Oh, Do you crap. get diarrhea too? Yes. yes. I get diarrhea. I get diarrhea. My immediate reaction is, oh my god. I like gosh. how she says it. It's like, um, I get diarrhea. I get diarrhea. <laughs> yes. I get diarrhea. All right. Colors just 582 a square yard. Find all your holiday needs at Menards. Oh, Jesus, Jesus greetings to you, Menards. Menards. That's a song that made me want to be a musician. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and right. I can't believe I have the freaking Arts Christmas bag. I'm going to get some grapes. I'm going to get a blankie. I'll be right back. I'll be right back too. Bye. Bye.